Welcome to another tutorial here for the Visualizer 3D software. This tutorial is going to be on rotational errors made with the Rover series. If you have a an EXP 4000 or 5000, I'll bring that up near the end. On the Rover series, as you approach your scan, and let's take change our view here just a little bit, we're going to go forward here, and then you're going to go to the left. When you go to the left, do not turn the unit. Keep the unit facing the same direction as on your first level here. As you are going up here, if it's facing one direction, move it literally to one side and then bring it down the other. If you rotate the unit, what you're looking at on a rotation is this here. This is a rotational error. Can you see these very straight lines here? As these lines are straight all the way throughout, you're going to realize you are rotating the unit. So if you see a scan that comes out like this, and these lines are very straight, you usually have an error there. And this says, oh, I have rotated the unit. So you don't want to rotate the unit in this view, uh, this view, like the right. And you'll see that here with the straight lines, this is a very good indication of rotating the unit. Also on this scan here is another example. As you can see, when you have lines like this, it's a very good indication that the unit is being rotated. Again, on the perspective view, you can see these extremely straight lines, which is another indication of rotation. So when you're going with your rover C, you're going to come over to the end. You're going to move to the left, but do not rotate the unit. It means the unit always stays facing the same direction. And you're going to come back down. If you're having a problem with constant rotation, instead of a zigzag pro pattern, set up a parallel pattern if you have the new series rover. If you have the old series rover, then please feel free to email me and I will try to give personalized instruction on how you can uh, better accomplish this problem because there's a couple of techniques I've learned actually from other customers and I like to pass them on because knowledge is a good thing. Um, I, okay, if you have the EXP 4000 or 5000, let me get over here to the front view. On the EXP 4000 or 5000, when you come to the end here, then yes, you do rotate the entire unit, including the super sensor. Because if you do not rotate it, then you will end up with this type of a scan. Anyway, um, whenever you do see a scan like this, where you have constant straight lines that you're looking at, please be aware that these lines are an indication that you have turned the sensor and this is an error. This error can be very frustrating. It does take a little bit of practice, but once you see it, you'll go, aha, that works very well. So if you have any questions, again, please give me an email. That's fcasser, C-A-S-S-E-R, at okm-gmbh.de. Thank you.